Truth about Selena Gomez dating Prince Harry. Selena Gomez's relationship with Justin Bieber is a very common subject in the tabloids, but she's also attached to another Justin a lot, Prince Harry. For the past couple of years, the tabloids have claimed that the former Disney star is romantically involved with Prince Harry. Got Magazine looked into each of these reports. Here are the most recent times the tabloids alleged that Selena Gomez was dating Prince Harry in March 2018. NW asserted that Prince Harry was crushing hard on Gomez. The publication maintained that Prince Harry was sweet on Gomez for a long time, but never acted on his feelings because he was with Jennifer Aniston. The outlet claimed that once Prince Harry and Janiston broke up, he began calling and texting Gomez constantly. The story was completely fabricated. Separate sources close to both Prince Harry and Selena Gomez respectively dismissed the bogus article. Three months later, the same tabloid claimed that Gomez was trying to date Prince Harry because she had idolized Jennifer Aniston for years. The magazine asserted that the singer had gone all single white female and was trying to steal Aniston's life and former husband. Part of Selena's attraction to Justin is knowing how much Jen loved him. The fact that women she idolized so much prized him only makes Justin all that more appealing, an unnamed source stated to the magazine. While it's true that Selena Gomez admires Jennifer Aniston, the relationship is mutual. They are legitimately friends, not foes. The idea that the singer was trying to steal the actress's life was absurd. Got magazine still checked in with a rap for Gomez who stated the story was ridiculous. The following month, the National Enquirer alleged that Prince Harry was dating Selena Gomez and Emma Stone at the same time. The magazine described Prince Harry as a hound dog and claimed that Prince Harry was cozying up to Stone and had a night at the theater with Selena Gomez. Got magazine investigated the story and found no truth to it. Stone had stated during an interview with WWT that Prince Harry was like a brother to her. As for the night at the theater with Gomez, that was a day trip that included other people. This was confirmed by an Instagram post shared by both mutual manager. In May 2019, the Enquirer once again concocted another bogus story, the phony outlet claimed that Aniston was freaked out by Prince Harry's thing with Gomez. The unreliable magazine asserted the friend's star was in a tizzy over her former husband's relationship with the singer. Jen finds Justin creeping on Selena, unsettling because of the age difference, a so-called source told the outlet. The publication insisted that Prince Harry didn't see anything weird about what was supposedly going on between him and Gomez. However, there was never anything more than just a casual friendship going between Gomez and Prince Harry. Jennifer Aniston was not freaked out by the two's friendship. Furthermore, Got Magazine had already corrected the unreliable outlet the year before about a similar narrative. The point is this, there is nothing on going on between Prince Harry and Selena Gomez, no matter how often these silly tabloids try to say otherwise. Meghan Markle and Harry profiteers are broke these annoying new revelations since leaving the royal family of England. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have lived on the hooks of their friends, first in Canada and now in, in the United States. Would they be in financial trouble? Meghan Markle, Harry and their son Archie, who just celebrated his first birthday, would now live in Los Angeles. In luxury mansion owned by the American producer and actor Tyler Perry, they moved in mid-March well helped by their new friend, whom they met thanks to Oprah Winfrey, whom they had been very close since their return to North America, but the sumptuous house is always temporary, like the one they occupied a few weeks in Canada just after the Mexit. But contrary to the first information that leaked out on this express move, the Sussex couple would not rent Tyler Perry's villa, it would be a free loan. According to page six, Meghan and Harry would be accommodated as guests while the American producer is away from the city on business and apparently they also stayed for free in the Vancouver home. This situation cast doubts would the spouses of Sussex be broke. In addition to being housed for free, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have still not reimbursed the renovation work on Frogman Cottage, a commitment they had yet promised to honor when they decided to take time off their royal obligations. Another element suggests that they are not advanced on the financial side. The Duke and Duchess would wait until the real estate market fell because of the coronavirus pandemic to offer the house of their dreams, but at a lower cost. Meghan Markle's mom, Doria Reglan, reportedly set to move in with her and Prince Harry in £10 million Los Angeles mansion. Former senior royals and current LA residents 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been reportedly eyeing a new home for the small but exigent family and according to reports there is a chance that the new mansion will welcome one additional guest. Prince Harry may soon accommodate his mother-in-law Doria Reglan with his immediate family in the new six-bedroom LA property. A source familiar with the couple's plan told The Sun and according to the insider's information Queen Elizabeth II's grandson doesn't seem to hate this plan. Once quarantine and lockdown are over, Harry and Meghan will be moving into the new pad and they want Doria to be included in these plans. The anonymous source shared she's hugely independent though and she doesn't want to be in this space. She will have her own granny and Nexi. Following their move to the United States in late March, the couple started looking for a permanent home that would satisfy both their tastes and security needs while temporarily renting a property in Malibu. According to the reports, they've now set sight on a magnificent £10 million mansion where they can share a neighborhood with such Hollywood moguls such as Tom Hanks and Ben Affleck. The ex rolls new house will reportedly feature a swimming pool, personal cinema, one acre garden and a giant plague area. A perfect combination for the couple's 11 month old son Archie will celebrate his first birthday this week. According to the report, the planned move will take place after the quarantine restrictions are over as Meghan Markle also allegedly hasn't been able to visit her mother in person since the Duchess's return to LA during to the rules of social distancing. Obviously under lockdown they won't be moving house any time soon but they are both looking forward to laying down more permanent roots in Los Angeles and making it home someone close to the couple was quoted as saying Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have made the last minute escape to the United States via Canada in late March following their shocking announcement in January that they'll put aside their royal duties in a bid to live a financial independent life and balance their time between the two continents. The couple had already been spotted in Meghan Markle's homeland while walking their dog and also delivering food to the most vulnerable members of the population who have been severely affected by the coronavirus outbreak. Prince Harry now surrounded by the Meghan team in Los Angeles, accustomed to his life near the crown in the United Kingdom, difficult for Prince Harry to get used to his new life in California, even if he's confined to luxury. Surrounded by many friends of his wife Meghan Markle, as revealed by the American media page 6, the Duke of Sussex is disoriented. When he renounced his royal office, Prince Harry certainly didn't expect a life as different from the one he led with the crown. After taking off of Vancouver in January 2020, the Duke and Meghan Markle packed up again to go to California and more specifically to Los Angeles, a secret move made before the border between Canada and the United States closed and with the precious help of a friend who also authorized the princely couple to live in his luxurious villa in the Beverly Hills district, estimated at 14. This Daily Mail article more than 16 million euros for the Duchess who recently celebrated the first birthday of her son Archie by sharing an adorable video on the web. Smith was an opportunity to find her many long-time friends, among them in particular actress Abigail Spencer and lawyer Benita Litt. Let's also remember that tennis woman Serena Williams, just as close to Meghan Markle, also owns a sumptuous house located in Beverly Hills, ideal for the ex-star of the Suits series. Isolated from everyone in the United Kingdom and in perpetual conflict with Kate Middleton, for Prince Harry, however, the story is different. According to our American colleagues from Page Six magazine, it is the young dad's turn to feel lonely. He who is surrounded by Meghan Markle team in California for several months, the friends of the Duke of Sussex have expressed their concern far from his family. Prince Harry also distanced himself from some of his lifelong accolades one of them even assured that he would quite simply have cut ties with his circle during Meghan Markle's sixth month of pregnancy. Anthropologist Jane Goodall, who spoke to Radio Times in April 2020, said he's finding his life a little trying right now to make matters worse. The absence of his older brother, Prince William, would wait on him a little more each day, and this despite the differences. Middleton can find her wardrobe is not chosen at random. The economic crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic will affect all sectors in the United Kingdom. Kate Middleton decided to act on a scale to support small creators. Since the start of confinement, Kate Middleton has taken the habit of applauding with her children, British caregivers, to give them for their work in favour of the patients of COVID-19. But that's not all. The Duchess of Cambridge has become aware of the financial difficulties which several sectors of British economy will face. She decided to act on a scale, thus 
Kit Middleton, 38, and during the confinement are to the British, ready to wear brands in support of the creators of a country, as the Daily Mail indicates. In addition, it favors small creators who are more fragile. Obviously faced with a crisis recently, Kit Middleton had notably opted for a yellow silk dress signed riot displayed at the price of 495 pounds she wrote this piece for an interview for the tv program this morning a way for her to spread the message and to get the british to start consuming differently for designer susie hassler the fashion world is deeply affected by the crisis the designer at the head of the styled by susie brand was very touched by this initiative as she entrusted it to female the fact that Kate is promoting British brands during her virtual appearances throughout confinement is incredibly important at a time when a clothing industry is being hit hard with stores like Warehouse and Oasis collapsing. The Duchess shows her support for our country and our economy. The message is simple. If these brands are good enough to be worn by the future queen, it's time for everyone to follow suit and defend British manufacturing too.